a few little kinks I got to work out. But yeah, so I don't know if y'all been seeing, but it's been the rates have been up, of course, because the weather is horrible. But um, my biggest problem or the biggest problem in the game is, of course, if you can't drive a semi, then you're going to be dependent upon the drivers. So most of my drivers lately, because of the snow and they Southern drivers, they had they haven't apparently ever really drove in the snow and they it's been very problematic for me. Yeah, so we could jump into some questions, but yeah, first off, where y'all from? I see some people trying to jump back in here. My bad. Like I said, I had a for some reason my audio wasn't working. My audio should be just fine now. Um, everything should be good. Y'all should be able to see me clearly. Everything should be good. Take notes, David Woods. Yeah. Make sure y'all got them questions. How's the how's the industry looking this year? Semi rental still an option. Um, I haven't been able to find any rentals. The industry is looking like crazy right now, strictly because of, uh, like I said, parts. One of my trucks needs a one box. It's on what they call, if you hear them say national back order, that means they don't know when the hell it's coming in. So again, like I said, I just got a box truck out finally that I'm going to put up for sale. Um, after being in the shop. For six months i got another one that they finally getting the xy shifter been in for six months so right now the best way to go in my opinion is to do a dip is to be a dispatcher which i think dispatching and getting your authority and letting people run under your authority having people to lease on to you is to me the best new wave you know um i've i got somebody in the midwest that just leased on to me i've always been against it but the game is changing, so I'm changing with it, you know, and it hasn't really been that bad having somebody with their own truck. You were able to kind of make some income off of it just from managing the driver, dispatching for him and things like that. So that might be a good, good, good way for y'all because that's, that's, that's the way that I always wanted to go towards freight brokering anyway. So I feel like right now the game is more pushing me into that arena where I want to more deal with shippers and manage the freight versus owning the trucks because owning the trucks has been a complete headache to say the least all man transporting i'm glad you was able to find me on youtube i, I mean yeah because i know a lot of my people that be on ig they'll be on the youtube man so i'm glad that y'all can um that you could join me over here i see we got az in the building love your channel bro what's the best way to get into military loads uh, really, you can go directly on the military website and they have an actual, they have, well, like the Army website, they actually have things over there for supply chain to become a supplier. So from what I know, you need three years experience or three years under your authority, the same thing that you need to kind of rent trailers from certain certain companies as well. So you got to be in business for, for, for a little bit in order to get some of that military freight. But I don't, I don't think any of that stuff is hard to get. Cause a lot of people just looking to do the regular Amazon and regular stuff. What's the best, the, the best way to find on operators to lease on with you. The best place to find drivers and anybody for me is at the truck stop. So to all my brothers in here, understand that women managers and women recruiters will work the best for you because you're dealing in a male predominated industry. Well, now it's starting to be, you know, a lot of women, but I noticed that having my sister run stuff for me, it runs a little bit smoother because the drivers, everybody is, all of the men are willing to do more for a woman because they want to, they kind of want to be the man. They kind of don't really want to take orders from a dude and stuff just comes better than you got. You got a couple of dudes that still could find problems with anybody. But from my experience, going to the truck stops, I would, I would definitely have me, uh, um, like a secretary or a woman or an assistant or somebody with me to pass out those cards because I'm telling you that they will be able to recruit drivers easy just because it's them, just because they're cute or whatever the whatever the case may be. But like I said, the game is competitive. Don't think that 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 this is not any competitive than NBA basketball. Like I'm giving y'all a game, but secretly y'all my competitors if y'all trying to get drivers and I'm trying to get drivers too. 
But at the same time, I understand that there's an 80% turnover rate. So drivers are going to go like, like, look, I pay drivers $1,800 a week and I still have a problem finding drivers and retaining drivers and drivers like, oh, I'm going to go home or I'm going to do this or I don't want to do this because like I said, a lot of people don't really want to work and understand that in this game, it's a low barrier to entry. That's why I'm I'm looking at sandbox and I'm looking at metaverse and I'm putting my money more in things that are, it's not like it's hard to get into, but things that are new and not flooded like this industry, you know? And if, and, and like I said, and if I was you and I was getting into this industry, I definitely would figure out a way to get in without purchasing a truck for double the price without having any freight. And I would be looking at, at dispatching, which is like I said, I got, I'll, I'll be, most of my lives and most of my videos coming up will mostly be surrounded around dispatching moving forward because dispatching and leasing on, because those are the new ways to go. Let's see. Hold on, man. My, okay, Arizona in the building. All right, hold on. I'm a little behind. Word. What makes sense now might have not made sense yesterday, and vice versa. Oh yeah, the game is the game is ever changing, and that's kind of where I continue to try to go live because this is not a game that's like stand still. And like what I said yesterday was, man, look, box truck was it in the time when I first came in a year ago. But like I said, at ever since. You know, certain shit happened. You know, I, I kind of, I wouldn't say I had a falling out with, with Amazon, but I would definitely say that Amazon just kind of changed up. They, they rates a whole lot for dedicated carriers in it. And it just at, at a certain point just didn't make sense to be dedicated any longer, you know? Uh, so we just put in our final two week load notice to, to give them our farewell, you know? Cause it's it's just like I don't I don't really know if it's ever gonna make sense again. All right, hold on, let me scroll down some, y'all. Question, bro: How do you get dedicated lanes from FedEx or Walmart? All of these people, you just simply gonna have to call those people. FedEx lanes could be actually purchased though. You can actually purchase those from um. You can go on um. What is the name of that place? Just put in in Google buy buy FedEx lanes. You can actually find them on LoopNet too in the business section. But they they very 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 expensive though. I don't I don't feel like they work. Well, I don't know. It depends on who you are. I mean, if you want to buy a company with a truck, a lane, and a driver, hey, that ain't a bad idea. But a million dollars for it, I will put a million dollars in crypto before I do that. I want to get back into trucking, but I don't want to drive no more. Could I make some good passive income if I buy a truck and hire a driver. I would say yes and no. Simply because, like I said, with the driver turnover rate, it's not. So when you hear people say that it's hard to find drivers or it's a driver shortage, it's not really. It's just hard to keep drivers. So you just constantly recruiting. It's a, it's a constant thing. That's going to be a part of your monthly budget. Now, I, I probably I'm already at six hundred dollars for this month because I had to let one of my drivers go. Because he ended up getting a speeding ticket and he just was kind of doing a few things that was careless. And I would rather have a truck sit than to have, you know, somebody put it at risk. But when you own trucks, you're constantly thinking of that particular risk factor, which is why I'm going to start teaching more on dispatching and um, and things of that nature. And also my my I'm actually going to be creating i3ceo.com which is i'm gonna be more teaching about broader business big bigger bigger business other not saying bigger than trucking but just other stuff because if there's other ways to make money because i realize that a lot of people that get consultations with me they don't only want to do trucking so i feel like it's time for me to transition into you know a space where i start where i actually want to open up because i actually be running to a lot of good people it's like actually watch my YouTube channel that know a lot about crypto, that know a lot about the metaverse, that know a lot about NFTs, that know a lot about the new money and the ways to make money faster. Like teaching and coaching is is way more better money than like teaching some people some stuff that you know, starting a YouTube channel, all that type of stuff like that is a, is actually 
have been way more lucrative than I would say as far as profit margins, trucking is probably the most le least lucrative business that I even got right now. Rental prices are horrible. Enterprise quoted me six seventy five a week, twenty four cents a mile. Tell me what y'all think. I think that is ain't the worst I didn't hear. I didn't definitely hear way worse than that. I didn't hear like twelve hundred a week. But I don't like I couldn't even make four hundred and fifty a week with ten cents a mile work. But like I said, everybody, I ain't really trying that hard to make it work either though. Cause I'm actually sick of having drivers for real, to be honest. Hold on. I might go to Sprinter Van route. Yeah, and that Sprinter Van is it's a lot of lows, but are they gonna pay enough for your cost? It's it's really gonna be the, the million dollar question. Hey, Mr. Green, Enterprise, from what I know, only rents out box trucks or like Sprinter Van, so I'm pretty sure he's not getting a semi from them. Military loads get easy. Hello. Military loads is easy to get into, but I struggled with getting a lot of drivers until I found out you can get them if you convince them that you don't work. Huh? The fuck is that? Is he talking about? Send him to the block list. I don't even know what the hell he was talking about. Savannah, Georgia in the building. GMO Logistics be in here. What about getting into truck with renting trailers? Oh, yeah. I definitely think that's a move. Like, anything that provides a support, trailers is the game. You're going to make money with that. How much you charge to lease on and dispatch? I charge right, right now. I'm testing it out at 25%. Where I take 25%, get them 75%, and, it, and it's working pretty good. But I only would I would only do it with people with owner operators. I wouldn't do it with somebody who owns a like who owns a truck trying to put a driver in there. I want the driver to be the owner because I know I'm I'm gonna have a lot more success with that because owner operators are always gonna be more hungrier from what I see than company drivers. Yeah, I would say yes to that, Ryan, for sure. Why would you give Amazon a farewell notice instead of just staying on the low board? Or do you mean just pull your direct contact from them? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm just not running from them direct. I mean, I very seldom ever run on a low board. Like a couple of weeks ago, I found some stuff. Every now and then I look, but it's not like a farewell in the sense of I'm done with them for good, but I'm just, I'm, I'm pulling out of dedicated with them where like I got to have a dedicated manager over there for seven days a week. Just, nah. It's just not worth the time. The profits are at an all-time low right now. Still, it still probably was making a, a, a little something, but I look at the time that my manager is putting into that, and I'd rather just pull them over here on, on the semi-side instead of dealing with box trucks. Three months active on January 20th. Almost got two dedicated box truck routes. Didn't go through with it because I'd rather take inconsistent weekly, monthly income with higher upside over time. Law of averages. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> For real. I feel that. You always going to make more in an open market, but it's just like I said, but like when you, when you get, if you, if you can get those things coming to you uh, still at a little flow, it's good because we've been killing on the low board. I even found dedicated stuff with JB Hunt on the low board. Um, just messing around on there. They get I'm getting, like I said, 1400 for like 350 miles out the deadhead. Not too bad using their trailers. So pretty good. A lot of good stuff can come from just dealing with the low board alone. Getting my box truck next week. Pretty excited to start. That's what's up. Congrats. GMO Logistics, I have been brooking out lots. I'm not, I don't understand what you're trying to say, <laughs> but uh, brooking, brooking out, hold on, I have been, I want to say booking out a lot of my loads to guys that were doing Amazon, and now that the rates suck because of the amount of box trucks, I 1099 all my loads and take some loads myself. 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was doing, though. Like, I just... Like I said, you got to figure out a way to get money in this game. But I feel like it's... it's, it's they making it... It's, it's becoming so difficult to make money that I just feel like, I don't know, man. I just kind of like crypto and stuff like that. Like, I, I made high profits, and I, I probably spent 20 hours on it, and I probably made about 60000 last year. And I was just playing around. Can you make good money with older trailers? I think you can make money with any trailers. And mine with trailers... Be aware that some shippers want you to have 10 years or newer. Keep that in mind. And also keep in mind that with the wood walls, you're going to be limited to what freight you could take because a lot of people with food want you to have food grade trailers, which are like the ones with the white walls in the inside. Versus, I'm actually going to think I'm, a, I'm actually going to do some slides probably on, on, on Thursday. I think I'm going to start going live and actually have some slides so I can kind of show y'all. What I be talking about versus just trying to get y'all to try to trying to paint that picture for you. What up, bro? Hey, I have two people starting their own authority. How do I give them loads? And what is the typical charge? They just need to get through the first three months. Um, I I charge ten percent. Um, some people it just depends. Somebody come to me with like like Carlo. He finna bring on multiple trucks. He's actually he found me on YouTube. He tried the box truck route. I thought I told him don't try it. Now he's going to go get two brand new semis. I'm going to do it for him for like 8% because he's bringing me two trucks. So if you're bringing me more business to helping me expand, I'll definitely do it for less than 10%. But if it's just one truck, 10%. Oh, you said you was brokering. Okay. My bad, GMO Logistics. I got you. No, I got you. The Amazon really increased the insurance requirements. Not to my knowledge. They, they haven't. I still got my same stuff. I just... They just sent me another email of decreasing the rates again. I'm trying to get rid of my box truck. Hey, me and you too. I can't wait to get my title back and everything. I just paid my trucks, my them two trucks I had left. I just paid them off. And I'm about to sell them. And the sweet thing about it is I'm actually be able to sell them for more than what I paid for them initially because of the market right now. It really depends. I have a budget rental at $680 a week. 16 and a half cents a mile, 3,200. Is that for insurance? In Cali, and I make it work. I run Cali, Nevada, Arizona, sleep in the truck. I'm netting 1,500, 3,000 after expenses pre-tax. Hey, that's good. Like I said, if you in a truck, I would say go. The people that I would suggest get in the game right now is people who are looking to get in the truck. If you're looking to drive it yourself, it's still a good game to get into. If you're looking to try to get in, ah, where can I learn crypto or take a course on it? I definitely could uh, put you on game. Just um, let me know. I, I'm going to put you in contact with one of my partners that I um, I basically just followed what he did and I just made it and I made money. I, have, I haven't lost yet. Please do, bro. Damn, I wish I knew what you was talking about. Dante Woody. The only reason I do is because I get about 10 loads a week from a broker out here with loads paying over four dollars a mile so might as well feed the amazon community oh yeah for sure for sure definitely man and different and like i said don't take it like if you're in the midwest you can still do whatever because the midwest still is is gravy gravy but out here well i guess i'm only saying that because it costs because it's it take, it's taking a minute to get trucks fixed and so unless you could get you a brand new truck or rent a brand new truck i just don't think it'll be it will be solid for you just not starting off. Now, people that have been in the game, we're going to keep on doing it because we didn't already seen it could be ugly. It's kind of like the boom or the bust. It's always boom and bust. 2019 was ugly. 2020 was great. 2021 was all right. This year looking all right. And I'm hoping for it to be, you know, be another boom again. I'm hoping to get back to, you know, averaging, averaging at $4 without question. Can you explain JB Hunt Power only in detail? Are you doing live loads, live unloads in their trailers? I'm doing everything in their trailers. Whenever I try JB Hunt, they wanted to scrambling all over to find an empty. It just depends on what market you is. There's plenty of empties in the market I'm in. And I'm dedicated. So I got a whole dedicated crew that finds me the trailer. So that's kind of, like I said, it could be different. I think when I tried to book a load a long time ago, see, uh, a long time ago, just a random power only load. I think it was like that. But as far as 
me being dedicated with them, I run I run dedicated Amazon loads for them. They just end up paying me a shit ton more than what Amazon pay. So, you know, and it don't even be like Amazon give you them loads where it be go here, go here, go here, go here, all like seven or eight different places. JB Hunter give me a load that's 250 miles, 280 miles, maybe 1,400, one pick, one drop. That's it. And I can take the trailer and do a backhaul. That just, that just, that just way better. It's just way, way better. Hold on. Uh, is the box truck and Amazon relay play dead? Depends on what market you in. And some markets is is good, but me, I feel like if dedicated is not working, then maybe in a spot market you could you could catch you could catch you some you know some good loads if somebody call off or something like that. But they looking for the fine, they looking to give people five to ten loads that can have you dedicated, making you feel like you're doing something and written and, and you it's really like slavery. When I did 3.5 million, I was nothing but a high paid slave for them. I'm not even going to front. I was a high paid slave for them. But at the time, it was more money than I ever had made. I understood the system. I worked the system and it worked for me at that time. Would I do it again if I was as broke as I was at first? Yeah, I would. But I wouldn't do it now because I know better. I pay 400 a week, 10 cents a mile with budget. Hey, that's a good. See, I, see, I had that with Ryder, but it just. I was putting trucks over the road. I just couldn't. The rates out here just now. If I was in the Midwest, I'd have survived for sure. Can you recommend where to buy a new semi? Most places you got to wait about seven months to nine months anyway because production is slow, which I said, and trucks die. So keep in mind, you're trying to get into an industry where it's hard to get the main thing you're going to need for the industry. It's like starting a restaurant when it's a food shortage. You know what I'm saying? It just it's kind of like you just got to kind of think about it. And like I said, think about it. I got courses and stuff that I sell. I help people do this, but I'm not going to get on here and lie to y'all because at the end of the day, once I start doing something else, I want the public to trust me. Like, bro, like if I like if I wasn't in the game, like I said, for me, if you ain't driving a truck yourself or got some money or like a real passion to do this, don't do it. You know, cause it, it ain't it ain't gonna be that easy. You are gonna have to take some take a couple L's. If you ain't down to take a couple L's, don't do it, cause you might lose. Who is this dude? Why is he trolling, folks? What is up with people, man? <laughs> What is a good insurance price for trailer with renting it out? Whatever your insurance company um, charge you to, to rent it for real. I say I, I would I would base it exactly on what the insurance company is called is, is charging me. I would pass on that cost to them. I would just pass it on. Can you write off a box truck? IRS under section 179. I don't even know what 179 is, but I know you. I didn't wrote off my box trucks. I didn't wrote off semis and everything. You, you definitely can write off a box truck. That's one of the best things about the game is that right now, if I wanted to get out, I could depreciate all my trucks and pay very, very little taxes. And You know, this is one of those things. Do you recommend... The slingshot biz, if I'm driving a truck myself, I'm believing you mean a hot shot. And are you referring to hot shots in a box truck or hot shot in like a dually truck? This was the ugliest Amazon. P hey, look, I'm trying to tell you, like I used to make bank during peak season. I'm talking like ridiculous amounts of money like with amazon during peak like this right here was like it wasn't it was like it was worse honestly it was it was worse than uh, than regular times to be honest so yeah I, I can see amazon definitely going down down the drain so i will you will be seeing a video the death of amazon when it comes to that
Corby, you the man, bro. I mean, he's thinking even in Kobe. I'm starting out hot shot, but I'm looking to move up in a couple of years. And you have helped me out a lot. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like I said, I'm I'm going to tell you all the real, you know, and, it, you know, if you want to get some sugar coating, you know, you can go somewhere else. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> I ain't going to sugarcoat it for you. Big Boss, did you ever get offered any contracts for Amazon for box trucks? Okay, I, I believe you asked somebody else because I, I definitely, um, definitely believe you already know that I got some. My account is 480 per week, 15 cents a mile, 26 foot with LiveGate, but after taxes and fees, and now wanting to accept my progressive insurance, 105 a week for general liability through budget, mad annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, man, that those rental fees is good, but man, it feel it feels so much better, so much better. I don't care if I only made a thousand a week. It feels so much better to not have to be dealing with them breakdowns, man. I ain't, I haven't even had to deal with this many breakdowns I've been dealing with lately because now I got more trucks than I ever owned. I got seven trucks. Well, actually, including my box trucks, I got I got nine trucks, and I'm finna sell one more semi and both of my box trucks. Finally, they getting them um fixed. Well, they got one of them that I gotta go pick up from Ryder, and then. The other one. And I'm going to put them on sale. South South to Dante. For the super chat. So it goes from 480 to 680. Yeah. They don't sound bad, though. It's just the freight that the freight should be able to support that. Is Ryder and Penske checking personal credit when using commercial account? No. I got I got mine strictly. Hey, look. I'm going to give y'all a little secret. Look, sign up for a commercial account. Nah, you know what? I ain't going to tell nobody that out loud because I, I, I ain't trying to mess up my own self. But if y'all book a call or something with me or something, I'm like, I'll tell you, but I ain't going to have nobody taking that back and then they end up, nah, never mind. Never mind that. I ain't going to incriminate myself on the internet. Can you, can you speak more on the downside of trucking other than driver shortage specifically? The driver shortage is not even the worst thing. The, the truck the truck shortage is the worst thing because now I can't leverage OPE, which is other people's equipment. That was my whole motto. That to me is the worst part because now, like I said, I got a truck that needs a one box. One box is on national back order. It's a $9,000 part and they don't know when it's coming in. So that's one truck that I don't even know when I'm going to see again. Yet, I got to pay $1,100 note on it. Plus, I still got to pay for insurance on it. Like, damn near $2,000. So, that's $3,000 I'm going to be losing every month until they find it, that part. So, that's the downside for me. It's the trucks, not the drivers. Hey, I think it's StreamYard just like fucking me up for real. It's my software. I'm definitely gonna have to um definitely gonna have to move over to restream. StreamYard is definitely getting fired after the day. My last three lives have been in shambles because of um because of StreamYard. I've been rocking with them for a minute. So okay, yeah. So you're doing it in the dually truck. All right. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if I had to go back out here again and times got tough, like I said, I think I would I would haul cars in the dually. Cause cars ain't cars gonna always move. Then during tax time, you will be you'll be killing. Actually, if you was to able to able to have you a flatbed trailer and a car hauler, that'd be good because then you can run flatbed after the car season. It's um after the car peak season, then you can go do some flatbed. Okay, hold on, hold on. I think I missed somebody. All right, hold on. Hi. You saying box truck, box bed with or semi truck or both? Well, yeah. I don't like it, just like Amazon is good. It's just they just good to people like JB Hunt and like Snyder and like the big companies. 
Because like I said, I get paid good money from them to run Amazon. So I still run Amazon seven days a week. I just don't run it. I just run it up under them. I just take the loads that they broker to me because they just pay more. And I run, if, if I can find something decent, yeah, but I don't really be seeing nothing good out of the Atlanta area. Now in St. Louis, Amazon is the shit. I got a, I got a cousin that's literally surviving off Amazon alone without a problem. I paid twenty five hundred for a death tank sensor. There's a nationwide shortage. Oh yeah, so so you know exactly. So you know I'm not capping. I love when the people come in that know that what I'm saying is not cap. Like this nationwide shortage shit. Just think about it on parts. So that's they can't even build the trucks because they ain't even got parts for the trucks that's already here. So that's that shit is depressing because no matter how much money you got. That can't even solve your problem. So when money can't solve your problem, when having money can't solve your problem, bro, it's a real good problem. Let's get the likes up, y'all. You're giving free game. Yeah, that's why I say I, I don't be understanding y'all. Y'all don't be want to do the likes. Y'all be just trying to come and try to give it like, shit, man, shit, a nigga, a cash app, something. Like, y'all don't realize how much I, 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 like, I put into this. I take pride into it, but it don't matter. If y'all don't send nothing, I'm still going to give because I'm going to give mine. From the universal creator so whether y'all give to me or not i'm still gonna get mine this business requires capital knowing your real numbers is key exactly it is i'm in gary indiana i'm using my tactics to buy a 26 foot box truck is this a good area to start up i definitely 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 think gary indiana is a good area um I haven't really looked at the board, but I just know almost everywhere in the Midwest. But I, when I'm speaking of Midwest, the only places I know for sure, Ohio, like Columbus, Cleveland, I know St. Louis, Chicago, Detroit. I know those areas. Any other area, I'm assuming that it's good because it's in the Midwest, but I'm not sure. All right, hold on. Somebody said it's leasing. Is leasing a box truck a good idea? It's only a good idea if you got if you got a plan that looks more profitable than the cost. That's, that's really the only thing. Is it's it's basically like the cost is going to determine whether whether it's going to make sense for you. How much is that lease going to cost? If that lease going to cost three hundred a week, ten cents a mile, maybe. Maybe you could you could definitely probably make that work. And then are you driving it? Or are you trying to put a driver in? It depends on your angle. It's a lot of different variables. So when I'm saying something, it's not all the way across the board. It's different variables that go with this, you know, to for, that goes with what I'm saying. So everything ain't for I ain't speaking to everybody on it. Do you like the Amazon contract works on the big rig side? I don't have Amazon contracts. I have dedicated work through, like I said, JB Hunt. Just running Amazon, but I don't I don't have any uh, contract. I ran a couple of them for like twenty three hundred. They was good during Christmas. They was decent, but now they back to the bullshit. So that's just what it is. I don't like Amazon for real for nothing unless it's in the Midwest. Got me one semi hauling containers and the any thanks for your inspiration. Any is is that, is that Nebraska or is that New England? Is that is that represent the city or is that represent the state? Just curious, just curious. How do I go about securing loads for my dually? Last question, bro. Um, It depends on what attachment you got because you would use the same load boards that I'm using. If you run a flatbed, you're just going to put the length of your thing on there, but I'm pretty sure it's doffed or something else, but I don't I don't run flatbed, so I don't know. But I know if you're doing a car, a car hauler, then you're gonna use like central dispatch. Cause that's that's the number one place. If not number one or number two place, it's another one called it starts with an R I can't think of. When I was when I had my car dealership, it was another place we used to um we used to get our car our cars hauled through. But I can't think of it right now. That part it's only $185. I paid $2,500 on eBay just to keep my truck moving. Wow, that's crazy. 
Hey man, hey look, if you could find a one box on there, now I don't know if I want to buy no one box, um, one box used though, or, or from nobody. I'm in the Midwest, Wisconsin. Can I clear 18k a month in a box truck during regional runs or Amazon? I don't know what you mean by clear 18,000, but I don't think you're gonna be able to clear 18,000. I, I mean, I can't guarantee that. I can say that. If you run in the truck yourself, you probably could do. I can I can say guaranteed like eight thousand a month after everything's paid, eight to ten. But eighteen, not clearing, you probably can gross that. Hold on, grossing that would be like, oh yeah, you definitely could gross. You could gross probably twenty five thousand. But it's what you're gonna bring home is gonna be the question. It's the profits, G. It's the profits. How's freight moving in Texas in a box truck? It ain't look good the last time I looked and seen. Like I said, we had to get on the call and look look at the board during during like the the daytime. What would you say is a good play in getting into trailer rental business? Figuring out, I got a I got a boy that's doing like a trailer. He's doing a trailer course, so I guess learning how to either build them. Or finding them, you know, finding some of them that's broke down. There's a lot of shit ton of them that's broke down, and you take them to like a trailer shop and just get them. Um, damn shit, I can do that myself. But yeah, um, I ain't even think about that. Just going to go find trailers that's that's like they may have a couple flats on them. They've been sitting somewhere and just get them refurbished, like get get them get them refurbished like an old school car. Because if it's a trailer shortage, understand one thing: that eventually those people that got those high um, you know, like, oh, you, you can't have, um, I need it to be 10 years or newer. Like eventually that's going to, they're going to be taking like shit. Well, we can't find none. It's 10 years newer. So we're going to have to take those because it's a shortage. So right now is a good time to be able to get past some stuff that normally wouldn't, wouldn't fly. And I think it's going to be like, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like this for, for some years to come because as long as they got the COVID and people getting sick and they're going to be out of work. That's why the manufacturers ain't going to hardly ever catch up because every time they put a new variant out there, boom, they, they, they finna crash the economy with the, with this shit that they putting in the air. For real. They gonna, they gonna definitely crash the economy with this. That's exactly what the, the purpose is. So that's why I'm like, find something that's digital and, and, and not nothing physical. <laughs> if you, if you don't have to, no offense, rates are trash in Texas. Yeah, they are. I didn't want to say it, but almost everywhere close to close to water, the, the rates ain't. I guess it's trash is only subjective to what I know because I know somewhere better. It seems like the southeast rates aren't good. Yeah. Yeah, the southeast rates definitely not that good right now. Like I said, I'm getting 1400 from JB Hunt, and that's damn good. And I'm getting about I'm getting 1200 on the way back. So I'm doing 2600 round trip from Atlanta to Charlotte and Charlotte back so that ain't that ain't really that bad i'm still i'm still getting some decent profits i'm getting i'm getting about 2500 or better northeast not really sure last time i looked they had really good rates but it'd be up and down it depends on where you at up there too but then you gotta think about the tolls and all of that too as well so then what's up trucking out the box i see y'all appreciate that for sure for sure my cash app is, is Kobe Pegway. Just, just how I spelled on here. Hashtag Kobe Pegway. Bless it up. Bless it up. And I, I believe I fixed my camera. My, my camera was, I think it was overheating though, because in this room, I mean, I think I needed to um to, to to like keep it cooler so my camera won't be overheating. That's why I kept going out the last couple of times, I believe. What do you think? I am thinking of hitting on hitting the road. And getting invoice 30, 60, 90 for about two months, then come back home and sit on my ass for about another six months till peak. I don't know, man. Depending on how much money you make out there. I mean, right now in the snow, you could kill it. Like right, because like right now, I seen a low, I seen a low earlier today for 600 miles. One of my dispatchers sent me a low for 600 miles for three grand. So oh yeah. Like, like right now is the time to get money. And these times like this is time to get money. But like I said, you're going to have to find a driver that's a go-getter. Because I got I got drivers that see a little bit of snow. And they 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 stand at home so they can lay up under mama. Yeah, 
I said it depends on if you have a score. Okay, yeah. She put it on. I see you. I see you. Shouts out to you. Shouts out to you, GMO, for um giving out some game here. That's what I'm saying. Let's exchange. Let's exchange. Hey, I was thinking the same thing. Like, why why would he do that? But hey, I ain't knocking it though. Depending on how much money you're getting out there. 20K, 25K in credit card. Can I get started with a semi? Definitely. Are you gonna be driving it or are you trying to put a driver in it? And how you plan on obtaining the semi? Like, cause semis is like like mine's in 2015. I finna sell it for like 55,000. That's about to go, they're going to raise about 55,000. So just depends. You could do 18k a month. It's, oh yeah, definitely, definitely. It's easy, especially in the Midwest. I'm thinking about taking all my trucks to the Midwest. You the man, champ. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love. Do I need to add a new company onto my insurance if they have their own authority? Nope. Nope. You could just dispatch for them. So that's what so basically I dispatch for the people. I got a dispatch company to dispatch for people with their own authorities. Anybody who want me to dispatch for them who don't got their own authority, then I just let them run under mine because I got I always keep two of them. I always keep two of them. It's also because I'm lazy. <laughs> hey, you honest, Jack. Hey, I fucks with it because you honest. Can you start with a van or do you need a box? You can start whatever you want. Just think about the profit margins that you're looking to make. That's what it's all going to be based on. How much money are you trying to make? Bro, can I lease an 18-wheeler? Are you saying for me? If so, then no way. <laughs> I ain't got enough. Where can I find a 53-foot trailer? When you find out, let me know because it ain't really none. I got a couple of them that's sitting right now as I'm running the power only because my other trucks is down. But I don't, I don't really want to rent them out because then when my trucks come, then I'm going to have to call and find who got them. Look on the GPS and then be like, all right, man, I need this. I need this trailer back. Do you do you do shipping containers from the ports? No, nah, not really. Not, not super familiar with that. Not super familiar with that, though. But I, I know some people making some money and and but when I talked to XPO and a couple of people that to run them heavy ass loads, it, it didn't look good. I've been doing just pallets in my box truck and Chevy 1500 with the trailer. Oh, yeah, pallets, pallets are good business, especially on the West Coast, man. They be getting it with them pallets. Where you at, Polly? Where you hitting from? Hey, bro, we tried to call you back regarding the sea moss. We got the purple sea moss and can ship the quantities you want. Kelden, when you hit me, man, just um text me. Text me because I don't remember getting a call from you. I don't remember getting a um, call from you at all because the purple, the purple sea moss is what I'm looking for, too. We need we need more of that. We don't really do the, the gold, the gold kind. But yeah, Kelden, definitely text me, man. Hit me up. I don't. I, I mean, I got the same phone, but I do be getting a lot of texts, though. Any info on Hampton Roads, Virginia, Norfolk Beach? Good for box trucking. Don't really know. Like everywhere has loads. It's just like I said, the Midwest is the best. Everything else comes comes second, third, fourth, fifth, or sixth, like Florida to it for real. Yeah, trailer strong. Yeah, is his course good for you though? I mean, you think his course is good, William? Because he right here out of the same area. I be um, I be talking to him at least like once or twice a week. Because I'm trying to see if I can find a trailer from him, but his just be a little bit older though. What's your advice on hot shots? As far as what? It's a broad, broad, broad. Put a driver while I get my CDL as the backup plan. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. 
I definitely think if you try to get in and you try to get your feet wet, go ahead and just get the CDL. I would go drive for a company for like three months, get my CDL, get some experience through them, and just get a semi and skip the whole box truck. Peace, family. Peace to you too as well. You and yours. Can I start with the box truck and thirty thousand and MD? I don't know. Let me know where you will find a thirty thousand dollar box truck that might this this probably this gonna be dependable. I would say it's not gonna be breaking down. Honestly, you don't need a trailer to make money with a semi. Now you don't, because like I said, I got five trucks that's running power only right now. So I only got five trailers. So I got like three. Well, I got probably three trailers sitting. But I want to rent them, but I got four trucks that's down. So when those trucks get back up, you know, I don't want to be without my trailers. I like to run under your authority. I'm in Kansas City, but got two day caps. Hey, hit me up in my email. My email is kobepegway at gmail.com or info at kobepegway. I definitely like to bring you on board, champ. Definitely. Especially out of Kansas City because I know we're going to be able to get money because I got a day cab out of St. Louis that's doing like 1500 a day. Live is always saucy. We sent an email and a DM. We'll link soon. Thanks for the free game on here. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, bro. Oh yeah, we definitely gonna link, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm super busy. I'm, I'm cooking up some shit I can't talk about just, just yet until I get it, until I get it all done. So, I'm, I'm super busy. That's why my, my consultation schedule is like, is like if you try to book me, my calendar is full because I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of research, a lot of reading and stuff right now. I gotta, I gotta figure out this, this, and these NFTs. I gotta figure out this metaverse. I gotta figure out how to get this sovereign land too as well. So, got a lot of stuff. A lot of research. I always spend a top of the year research. Where should I sell my truck? Hit me up. I might um want to buy it from you. What kind of truck is it? I buy it from you and sell it down here. <laughs> Cause they giving a high down here for the trucks. I have an LLC. Do you need to have an authority to buy a semi and put a CEO driver in it? Well. You're going to need authority for a box truck, too. You're going to need authority for either unless you plan on running under somebody else's authority. What do you think about loads in Ohio regarding o over the road and local for box truck? Ohio had a lot of loads at one time, but like I said, it's I'm not just... Hey, look, y'all, I want y'all to know for the record, Kobe Pegway does not sit around on a computer looking at every single state at loads to see which state got the highest paying loads. I definitely, I don't even dispatch my own trucks. So every now and like once every two weeks, I go and dispatch my trucks just to see what the temperature of the market is. But my dispatch has been getting, as long as they've been getting 1200 and 1300 a day, I'm in kind of Gucci for real. I'm, I've been good. Now, if they started talking about the, the, it's looking like 900, like one time, like in December, it was looking like it was looking sketchy. Then I jump in there, you know, and try to impose my will. But other than that, if they doing what they do, then I don't, I don't even, I don't worry as long as the numbers make sense. All I do is payroll in the numbers, man. And also hot shot. Okay, I don't, I don't know what that's connected to. Oh yeah, man. Like Ohio has a lot of freight going in and out, so. That's the most I know. Kobe, did you ever check out Great Dang and Statesboro for those trailers? No, I didn't. Um, man, I so much stuff be slipping. Hey, we actually, hey, I believe that GMO Logistics is gonna be a good somebody that I need to be linking with. So definitely reach out to me via email. Cause I'm definitely gonna hit you up on the phone. Cause I need people that's active in the game that we can share information. Cause I got a I got a lot of information that if I get, I don't even be want to give out on the internet. But like, I need I, I need partnership. I need people that are serious, though. I've been running across a lot of people that really ain't that serious. Killing it in the Midwest, 2,100, 430 miles, and a 1,500 backhaul. Man, that's what I'm, man, I'm telling you. Like, the mid, I mean, that truck in the Midwest is killing it. It's just the Midwest got that snow. I'm thinking that after about March, I'm going to be moving all my trucks up there, or either I'm only going to hire drivers that want to drive up there. Do not do cargo van. The market is saturated. It looks like a van dealership down here. 
money in a box and not the semi. Oh yeah, yeah. Vans, man. I had a van. I had a Nissan 2500. I never made money with that thing though. But I never really put a whole. I never put my all into it. But I'm just feel like it, it was a waste of time for me. Where you get your trucks from? Appreciate you got you always dropping gems. Uh, I get my trucks mostly from dealerships because especially now, like I got NTP warranties, which I got a success warranty story. I thought they was gonna try to play me. I paid seven thousand dollars for the warranty, and guess what? In two months, the one box went out on my on the truck. Fourteen thousand dollars. They paying thirteen thousand of it. So that one that one box is costing the repair that is costing more than the warranty itself. So I've already made my money back off the warranty. So so far, NTP is a pretty good place to get you a warranty. And I got that I got their warranty on on six of my trucks, but just read the fine print. Read the fine print though, because they don't cover everything. What's the gross on PO right now? Like I said, I'm getting I'm getting fourteen hundred, um, seven days a week, with um, a load going from from Georgia to Charlotte. Do you run in MD? If so, hold me down. I have a few dollars. What you mean? Oh, do you run any runs in MD? Nah, I don't really go up north. I don't like to go past past. Um, I don't like to go past like Virginia for real. I I like Ohio, Virginia area. It was real good money. West Virginia be pretty good coming out too as well. Low key, I never thought West Virginia would be, but they I always get good money going over there. Yeah, it's good. Got a lot of plays in the course. In the course now. Great Dane, two thousand nine. That ain't bad, right there. Is it? Is it a full gray trailer? I have a two thousand nineteen twenty five hundred with a Cummins and twenty five. Plus five trailer and want to know what is a good way to break into hot shot. Uh, I would say I don't know of any just straight hot shot load boards though. I just would say start on DAT and then just work your way from there. Because a lot of times I I get with certain I only out of all of the brokers I run for, I really only run for mostly the same ones because they just I just send them my trucks that I got and then they just let me know, pretty much. I'm an artist. I do NFTs. If you're interested in a collab, I am plugged with a few. Hey, definitely. I definitely need somebody to um, do the NFTs for me. Um, put that in the subject line. Hit me up at, at um, info at kobepegway.com. Billion dollar smile. I definitely hope you're still on here. I definitely need to leak with some, leak with some software engineers and some coders, too. Yo, I'm 19. I want to get into the trucking game. Should I get in a box truck until I'm 21? And can get a semi for OTR. I think you should go and see if you could get your CDL. Now I know they're passing the law where they're gonna let 18 year olds do it, but I think if you can, you should you should try to get your CDL or start studying for it now. For real, box truck. Like I said, if you're gonna run it, I believe you could do it. But your insurance is gonna be super high too as well. So definitely get in if you're gonna be the one driving the truck and you could make some money. What city are you from though? Are you trying to do it, out? man? Kobe got game. I ain't gonna lie. I peeped his vids research and now I'm getting this semi though. Keep doing what you do. Appreciate you. All right, for sure. Just hit your cash up. Hey, bro, I appreciate it too. Yeah, it's on my other phone though. So I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't hear it. And my phone on vibrate too. Cause I don't want it be banging in y'all ear. I'd like to get some mentoring from you, bro. I have a few questions for you. I'll pay for the knowledge. Yeah, just go to my website. HobiePegway.com. And you could just book some time. But like I said, a lot of the spots are taken. A lot of times I'll be rescheduling if my assistant don't take them off of there. Because like I said, I'll be studying a lot. And I'm homeschooling my kids because of COVID. So homeschooling kids and shit like that, you know. I'll be homeschooling while I'm on the road, traveling. So yeah, it's definitely hectic right now. 
what is a good rate for insurance? Depends on what city you're in. Mississippi is the cheapest. So if you got some cousins out there, start your company out there. And if, and if it teases where it's about to be, and that's what I'm saying, I'm looking for people who own that wave. That's where that's where I'm that's where I'm going. Like that's what I'm studying right now. Like <laughs> I ain't finna be playing around with this with, with trucking, and they finna have trucks driving themselves. I'm going to be delivering freight in the metaverse. See Kobe Pegway logistics in the metaverse while you driving by with your Oculus on in your virtual car. <laughs> Insurance rates depend on various things, credit, driving record. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, like I said, it's, 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 too, it's too many different things to really answer that question. Like a lot of the stuff be too, like it's, it's too wide for me to give you like a, a answer, I don't, you know, a correct answer like that I have to, Look into it for you, like on a call. I'm interested in starting a trucking career. What's the quickest way to get started? If you're old enough, go get you a CDF. I would say and drive that truck yourself for that first year. Stack up a stack up a hundred k, and then start expanding after that. Because trucks are like really expensive as far as trying to scale right now. It's, 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 it's a little, little difficult to um to scale. Sando Sando Systems, I believe I'm reading Sando Systems LLC is eating in this desert. Kobe got the plug. Just listen, soak it up and get yours for sure. You must be out there in Phoenix somewhere. Cause I definitely was getting some money out there. What's the place for the warranty is um, NTP national truck protection. And I only can vouch for them because I thought they was going to play me on that one box and they end up paying out my claim. So they ain't paid the whole thing, but 12, seven, close to 13,000 is better than what I thought they was going to try to do. How, how do you get into dispatching? Uh, I'm creating a course right now as we speak, which is another reason why I ain't got the time to really talk because I'm I'm putting together a course for dispatching because I that that is the most important thing. And um I had that question answered for you. Just let me know that you're interested, Elijah. And um send me these emails like right now. So when I get off, I can address them. If I ain't got a bunch of um things I gotta catch up on for the wife and shit. At Kimberly and Kobe, I also also check out Commercial Truck Trader. Oh yeah, I definitely been on there, but man, I haven't been been having any luck. Like I found five trailers twice, but both times they pushed the dates back. They was like, oh no, nah. like I was supposed to have five brand new, six actually six brand new trailers in December. They pushed it back and said that the manufacturer said that they pushing them back and they can't honor the forty two thousand that they was gonna give them to me. They was gonna be like a different price, so. It ain't that I ain't been finding them. People like Utility Trailer, they had five for me. They wasn't able to hold up to it. As a matter of fact, I gotta call them because they they um they owe me two thousand five star um because I had put some um deposits down on them. Five star location, location, location. They ripping us here in Louisiana with that insurance. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's all about location. I'm definitely serious about linking up to do business. I've been operating for a year and a half now. I've two drivers and looking to hire a couple more. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Reach out to me for real and let's do business. Cause I, I'm trying to expand that part of my business. So really that's why I want to keep coming on here. So I like, really, I'm not interested. Like, like my classes and all of that shit, I'm really trying to find people who want to be dispatched and who want to learn dispatch and who really wants to run under the authority. So I can expand that part. So when, as I, as I get out of owning trucks, I can, I can already have, have my replacement income coming in. My accountant, told not to payroll myself or anyone i have what you think uh depend on i would say depend on how you trying to run it for real you know you just gotta you gotta figure out what's best for your business i would i'm not payrolling myself now and i'm doing i'm doing all right with it but i'm definitely in this tax bracket i'm in like this year now that it's going up that i made so much off so many different businesses it's definitely going to be more advantageous to do that this year but it all depends on what bracket you're in too and I definitely would definitely be payrolling people because I definitely that's definitely gonna give you less tax liability. You could do them 1099 if you don't, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't, you know, I ain't like I said, I ain't, I ain't finna incriminate myself on here at all. Hey Kobe, what are the requirements for a national account with Ryder or Penske? Really, you just gotta come up with a profit and loss. And all I got to say is, and I'm literally saying, all you have to do is come up with a profit and a loss. So take that how you want to take it. <laughs> if you can't read the fine, I don't know. 
All you got to do is have that though, financial statements. And I think some decent company credit, you know, not looking too bad. Doing intermodal by looking to get out of it. I don't know, doing intermodal by. Hey, run that by me one more time. Because I'm not sure I'm, I'm comprehending it. I might just be slow right now. I'm paying anything less of $1,500 myself. Hoping NTP come through for me on the big issues. Great to hear that success story. Yeah, see, I got mine through Penske, so all I got to do is pay the $350 deductible, and then they got it from there. But they was, like, trying to say, like, oh, it's the cause of um, – it depends on what caused the one box to fail. So I'm like, what? So they was like, if it's not a covered part. So I, I just knew they was going to try to play me because it was, of course, $14,000 bill. But they didn't. And I'm happy. And hold on, y'all. I'm gasping for air because I'm talking and not breathing. So I stopped the yard kicking it with me, though. This has been one of the best lives, and nothing didn't mess up. Well, it did mess up at first, but I ain't got no cameras cutting off or nothing. So, a billion dollar smile definitely, definitely hit hit me, hit my email. If you need it, tell me, I, I give it to you. I mean, enough to power only, man. Average 290 with a semi. I, oh, yeah, definitely. Like I said, if you, if you willing to get out there, see, you got the, see, my man right here, Nate, he got the, the, the mind to win in this game. Everybody want to be home every day and all of that. He what he say out day and a half to two days and all, I'm look, it's money to be made, but it's just you gotta you gotta put a little something in it. You can't be expecting something for nothing. That's the biggest thing. I have two box truck. I'm thinking of selling it and getting a semi. My authority is seven months old. Plus, what's your thought? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Definitely, like I said, I'm. I'm getting rid of mine, but like I said, I'm taking that money and recycling. I'm going to buy me some trucks, like I said, in the metaverse. I'm going to hire me some drivers in the metaverse. That way I can control them so they won't quit. Where can I find the semi? I'm ready to buy any day now. I mean, Penske and Ryder got some. I mean, I got one, that a 2015. I'm selling for 50, uh, 50, 55,000. When they, when they get out the, uh, they, they put a new clutch, a new clutch in there and a couple other new parts. So it's going to have fresh, fresh parts in it. So you can buy that from me. It's a 2015. It's the red one. If you see it on the cover of my book, it's that one. Okay, thanks for the info. I'm going to be running out of Columbus, Georgia, ATL, Georgia. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I got how let me if you need dispatching services. So I'm like a newbie in this. After I get my CDL, what's next? Drive for a company. I would say for three months, get your get your um get your experience up so you don't crash your own truck first. So if you have any bumps or bumping some shit, you bump they shit instead of yours. Then go get you a semi and start running. Or either run for them and stack up enough to where you can go lease you one. But my advice to anybody, even if you take the route to go get your CDL first and work for a company, start your LLC so it can start getting time because when you start getting time under, un, under it, because once you try to buy something, they're going to ask how long you've been in business. So have that company that you're working for to deposit your work checks into your LLC. That's a hack for y'all. That's free game. If you got a job and you want to do trucking, start your LLC, start building company credit, go get your EIN number. Go through that process, even if you ain't got your DOT number, and start having your checks to be deposited in there. And so that way you got a bank account established and it looked like you ain't just you ain't just started, even though you wasn't making money off the business, but they don't know that. So just keep that in mind. They they they, they don't know that. So I sent you a message. Do you still need trailers? Yes, I do. Do you use your broker MC at all? Not really. I need to start using it, but I really don't use it for real though. Like I said, I need partners. I got more resources than I got hands and people that are really serious about this game. I'm looking for somebody serious I could teach the game to that can that, that can help me run it for real. 
Like I said, I could just throw passes. Extra lease, I know, has full grade trailers, but you have to call. They just started leasing out them, but you have to call. You won't find it on their page. Okay. What's your email address? It is info at kobepegway.com. Like, if you look at the bottom of my of my screen, it's just my website. All my information is on my website. Kobepegway.com have all my all my all my information that, that you need. I'm in Tulsa, Arizona, man, eating off I-10. I, I, I see you. Yeah, I used to stay out there in uh, Avondale and uh, surprise. Researched the lanes and made it happen. My nephew turned me onto your videos in 2020. I peeped research, made a plan, and made it happen. You and my nephew got me out of retirement. I'm gravy. Much love. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. I love the success story. I love to know that that this knowledge is reaching people, even though I got clowns that come in here and try to try to hate. Restaurant put on hold. Yeah, I definitely ain't dealing with no restaurant right now. It's a it's a whole food shortage going on right now. Hell, it's it's, it's tough even getting food for my house, let alone trying to do a restaurant right now. But yeah, when I do do it, I'm gonna do it out in um in a, in, a, in, a, in a ATL first. Need to link up with you on some input on growing. Oh yeah, for sure. You might want to look into Facebook and Amazon automation. For what exactly? Put me on game. Put me on game, y'all. And I'm putting y'all on game. Put me on some game. What up? Cleveland in the building. I'm out of Columbus, Ohio, and got a quote for insurance with my own authority for $1,600 a month. Is that a good rate? Yeah, because I'm, I'm paying more than that right now. So I'm paying almost like two grand per truck. So, And I've been in business for, for a minute. So like I said, it depends on what state you're in. Kobe, if I bought a semi and, and turned it over to your company, what type of money will I see roughly more or less? Are you going to be driving it? Or are you going to, because I only, uh, and are you saying dispatching or running under my authority now? I'm, I'm, I guess I just break down both scenarios. So with me dispatch, I'm dispatching, I'm averaging getting, depends on what market you're in. Midwest, I'm getting, I can get you easily 8,500, 9,000 a week. Southeast, Seven thousand, and anywhere else, I don't really even. I, I ain't really dispatching for nobody that ain't willing to run in those two places. It's <laughs> so hard to focus on breathing. I, I, I see you getting at me, but yeah, definitely. I, I mean, we definitely get you some bread. Like I said, all you gotta, you try it for a week. You ain't locked into no long term contract. You know what I'm saying? You try it, you don't like it. Keep it pushing. Is it hard to get work with the semi with new authority? It, it's hard, but it ain't it ain't that hard. It's I can give you a list of 30, 40 companies that'll give you some work. So about to say this boy talking hell along without uh talking hell along without water. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Because like like some days the energy be so good on a live that I just be feeling it. Today just one of them days. I haven't had a live that I felt the energy being like this. Like I feel like y'all reciprocating my energy you know what i'm saying today so like i'll be i'll be wanting this all the time but all the time it don't be it don't be happening i just feel like the energy good my stuff ain't messing up i got my microphone when i got my headphones on i really be feeling it too though because you know like i said i used to be a rapper so you know i'm feeling like you know i'm feeling like i'm performing for y'all or something maybe i bought one on facebook market just got to do your research and take someone and take someone that might know about them. Are you saying for NFTs or what? How much you think three box trucks could bring in monthly gross? So you can probably do about five. It just depends on how they run it. I would say at least 45, I would say 15,000 a piece, 5,000 each. I see tactical TV finally made it in. That's what's up. I, see, I, I stayed on long enough for some of my lawyer ones to, 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 to make it in. I got a homeboy in Valdosta who's trying to find somewhere to learn dispatch. I hey, hey, tell him to hit my um my email. Go on my website, kobepegway.com, and um and hit me up. Definitely can learn it from me. So say I get my CDL and I want to start working for a company. 
Are there companies that will teach me how to drive and start making money while being taught? Yeah, every every company pretty much like it's a. I don't want to say the shortage, but like I said, it's people like you can go to Swift, you can go to JB Hunt. You, well, I know Swift, CR England, those are some some people that you know they pay for your training and all of that, and give you a job. Now, whether you're gonna be making the money you want to make is subjective. You know, I don't know what your lifestyle is like, but sometimes you gotta. Think about the experience that you're gaining. That, like I said, you're gonna be able to drive an A truck. It's gonna be on their insurance, their liability, and you're gonna be able to learn. You're gonna be able to see what systems they're using. You gotta understand if you, if I'm trying to go and do a business and I got a job, I'm gonna leave my job and go work in that business so I can already have a, I can already have a business plan for my own company. I mean, that's just, that's just simple, simple mathematics. Like I was working at the post office. It wasn't quite a trucking company, but it was a shipper. So I was unloading trucks. I still was, I had been working in warehouses a whole lot though. So what I call my 26 straight man down for two weeks. QLS, death sensor, bad. Luckily they had it in stock. Oh yeah. You're lucky. Sometimes you don't be so lucky. You know, I'm trying to learn the business, willing to work for freedom, learn the game, teach, teach what you need help with. And I got you six months. You got me for whatever you need. Fast learning and motivated. Hey, I need more dispatches. So because dispatching is the cornerstone. So Alonzo Smith hit hey, you go on my website or you can just hit my email info at kobepegway.com. Like I said, we can um I definitely could could put you on game on dispatching the internship, and you could take that and go make make money. Yeah, it's my mouse. I think my, my mouse is, is making me keep on go back, going backwards. Hold on. I right, roll tight. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I think I went down too far. No, I don't have the CDL yet. Oh, no, I, I, I definitely will get it, though. Kobe Forest Drivers goes, since you did both, which side you think is the fastest turnover rate? Semis or box trucks? Mm. But the, nah, I had I had box truck drivers that ran with me for well, nah, I had both of them that ran me for a long time. I more have to fire. I didn't have to fire both though, but I didn't have to fire more. See, I don't really have the I don't really have a lot of people quitting for real. I, I'm, mo I'm most of my people that is, get turned over because they end up getting a violation or something or they or like they do stupid shit like when they go to the truck yard they like a park the trailer in front of fucking everybody else's trailer so where the next driver gotta come drop his trailer unhook hook up to that driver trailer and they just be doing like lazy ass shit man like that or either speeding there or either just all type of stuff that i feel like i put the company in and the other the other rest of the team at, 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 in jeopardy he said the floor of weather truck. What up? What up, Tony Montana? It's my movie right there. Hold on. Roll tide DM me logistics. What up, Marcus? Nah, about nah about buying a tractor. I found mine. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. I got you. Okay. Uh, Facebook market took someone that knows about take someone that knows about them. Ask for all the paperwork on maintenance, et cetera, and been on the road since November last year. Okay, that's what's up. Congrats. Yeah, I definitely got all the maintenance and paperwork on mine, though, and I'm definitely putting it on Facebook Marketplace for sure. They sell fast on there. The top three bro brokers to accept new authorities. Y'all be thinking I straight got this shit off like the top of my head. I definitely don't know, like right off. You would have to email me. I know TQL. But oh my God, they don't pay detention. <laughs> if you're in the Midwest, TQL well good, but in the Southeast, man, they 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 some they they, they some shit bags. Um, I want to say Werner, and who else do I know? I can't. I'm trying to think who else. Yeah, I don't know who else, man. I don't even want to tell you, but I know T TQL for sure. Kobe can Kobe can you speak on? Cascadia reliability versus Peter and Kenworth maintenance parts cost. 
I don't, I only own Freightliner. So I never, I never owned a Peterbilt to really compare. But I know that the parts are a whole lot cheaper. I know if you're trying to do heavy haul, Kenworth and Peterbilt is going to be better. But if you're just trying to do some basic shit, you know, Cascadia's, I like them because they, I feel like they just, they just like a Chevy. And Peters and KW's like be like a Cadillac or like, like some foreign, you know. On everything, get your own authority. Take your lumps for two to three months and get your cash. I'm not jocking Kobe, but he ain't lying about this semi, though. You won't be mad. I got my CDL in 1999 and got out of trucking in 2008. My nephew turned me on to Kobe. 2020 came out of retirement. Last summer, on God, this owner operator got me grossing damn near 40000 a month, and I am back quiet. <laughs> hey, like I said, when you running yourself, oh, my God. Did you ever sleep in your box truck? Hell yeah. <laughs> I definitely did. Nigga got up, nigga. You sleeping in the wintertime. Nigga fucking throat hurting and shit. Some fumes getting in there. Yeah. When the DPF, dirt, dirty ass DPF filters, that shit wasn't safe. So I don't take it for granted. I don't, I don't take nothing for granted. Oh, yeah. So Landstar is another one. They said take new authorities. Like I said, I, I, have, I wasn't, I had dedicated when I had a new authority. So I didn't, I wasn't looking for loads at that time. What's the deal with owner operators not wanting to come off the rate confirmation for drivers? Hmm, interesting. Why would it why would the company give you a rate confirmation though? Or maybe I'm misunderstanding what you're saying, because I wouldn't give a driver a rate confirmation. Well, I don't pay my drive. Well, I guess in the sense if you get paid by percentage, then yeah, that would make sense. But I don't I don't pay by percentage. So I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying, God. You said CR England and Swift are some great startup companies after getting CDL. Are those the best ones to start as far as knowledge, pay, and have shortest employment? And I, now that I don't know because I, I I never went there, but I'm just basing it. I'm basing what I'm saying off of who would pay for you to get your CDL. Like you can go there, get paid to get your CDL and be able to work for them because they got work and they got the trucks. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I'm basing it off of. Let me see. When I hit Jacksonville, where you at? Dinner and a shot of yet on me, man. I know I ain't in, I ain't in Jacksonville. I'm I'm based out of Atlanta, but I do be like traveling everywhere. So I mean I be live, <laughs> I be going live from <laughs> wherever I'm at too. Give me a green screen and I'll make your grandmama's living room the trap. Let's get it. Get this knowledge out there. Circle Logistics. Oh, yeah, you're right. Circle, Circle Logistics and Nolan. Circle Logistics is like one of the most. I got a, I got a good story about them. That's a stand-up company right there because I had a dispatcher that quit and I, I didn't and deleted all the emails and I didn't get, get the rate confirmation. I mean, get the BOL and every all of the paperwork to build that load. That was a fourteen hundred dollar load that, I rent, that was back in September. This company literally hit me up like, "Hey, can you send us the invoice so we could pay you?" And I'm like, "But then you got companies like TQL that fucking try to do anything they can to not pay you." So, yeah, shout out to Circle Logistics for that today. That that was I ain't never seen no company that was no. Nah, I wouldn't say I never did, but it, it ain't it ain't that it ain't it ain't many companies like that. Kobe, I have an FMCA audit due by January 30th. What do I do to submit for the EOD when I've been doing local since November running 70 miles, three days weekly? Now, that's something you gonna you should call the DOT for, about because like it's still supposed to be like some sheets that you're supposed to use, but I don't I don't know what the sheets are because I ain't never had I ain't never used them. I always ran the EOD. But they said they got time sheets that you need, but definitely just call the officer, you know. And I'm pretty sure you knew this before now. You should have looked this up a minute ago, Brock's Bread, Box Trucker. You definitely, you definitely skating close to it. I hear that it's hard to finance a semi with a new license, authority, thinking of starting with the dually and doing a high shot. If you if you get your CDL, it ain't gonna be hard to finance a uh, um uh, uh,
Man, I don't know, man. My damn um my damn magic mouse, man. Forgive me, y'all. I'm I'm getting used to it, but I guess I must keep on moving it too much and it just keep on slipping me out of this stream. So yeah, it's on me. If you lease onto a carrier, you can have your own authority running while you do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people you can. They really just gonna be dispatching for you, or you go like it would be no need if you got your own authority plates and everything like that. It would really be no need for you to lease on to them unless you're just trying to find work. In that case, you could just call me to dispatch for you. Facts: I had the fire driver today. He went up to Wichita, Kansas, and wasn't under a load. Basically, stole company fuel to take a trip to mess with the female. Stupid shit. <laughs> hey, I love when people who in the game. Is on here because man, bro, I didn't fire box truck driver. I haven't, I haven't caught no semi. See, I got GPS. I got double GPSs on my trucks though, so like, I'll be definitely watching for stuff like that. I want to lease onto a friend's company while paying my insurance and having my authority going. So after I stop leasing through, hold on, I wanted to lease onto a friend's company while paying my insurance and having my authority going. So after I stop leasing through them, my authority would be over. Yeah, that's possible, but you could find loads during that process. So there's no point of paying for the insurance and not using it when you could just get some loads and start building relationships for your company immediately. I don't even have a CDL and my authority isn't a year old yet. And I was able to buy two trucks. Yeah, like I said, I don't have a CDL either though, but it's like when you, if you already got equipment, I know that it's easier for you to, to get equipment, but if you if it's your first one, you can still do it. It depends on how bad you want to do it and how hard you're gonna go to make it happen. Cause I ain't I've been able to do a lot of the stuff that people say hard. Who have the box trucks around here in the Atlanta area? Are you saying for sale? Are you saying for rent or whatever? Cause I, I definitely I'm definitely gonna have two box trucks for sale for sure. I'll be posting pictures shortly. Tomorrow I'm gonna go get um uh, the one out and then the other one I gotta get it finished up at Ryder. Yes, I've been getting everything together EOD is the last thing oh yeah um yeah it's some type of time sheet though I just don't know exactly what it is because I've, I've never needed it I'm new in the game and been advised to always get a rate confirmation and then there are on operators that don't want to hear nothing about a rate confirmation so I'm dealing with the contradiction of the situation like I said this game is very subjective and people do everybody do it the way that, that, that they want to do it you know it, it, it ain't like one way to do it i think it depends on the, on the lot because when we go to try and finance one from a lot they wouldn't do it unless we were two years in our llc that's even with the letter of intent and cash yeah, it just depends on the finance company for real though. Cause like it's different finance companies got it's different banks got that it's kind of like buying a house. Like it's buying anything. Some people, some people feel more comfortable with you having a CDL, and some people just don't give a shit. So you just gotta find, you just gotta look, and then it depends on like I said, the bank service in certain markets. Everything is a it's just it's not a uh to all my newbies, it's not a cut and dry game, it's not just ABC. It is, but it ain't. It's, it's very simple, but very specific at the same time. What does your dispatch company charge? I live in Michigan, and you say you can get me 8,500 week down, LOL. Yeah, yeah, uh, we charge 10%, though. But, man, Michigan, man, shh. basically, your driver go determine how much money you got. If you got a driver that's trying to get it, then you're going to make money. That, that's just that. Some, some of my drivers, I make more money, a lot more money than others. Any pointers before studying for the CDL? Any resources you could point me to for better success? Great to pass. I'm in Washington State. Download the CDL app. It is a... I wish I could send that shit to you. But I can't. Um, but I don't know of it. Hold on. The CDL app is... I believe it's a red and white one. And it's a blue one with a steering wheel on it. That's the one that everybody tell me is the best. That's the one I got on my phone when I was going to 
try to study for mine, but I just can't figure out why it would make sense to do it. I was going to get a CDL because I wanted a Class A RV just to drive that mug, but I might just get it just for that. Seen a 2005 Hino 26-foot box truck for sale, 18000 Owner says it's ready to go. Does that sound suspect? Suspect as hell in this market. That sounds very. But maybe he's a good guy. How much you selling it for? Uh, my box trucks, I'm definitely selling for like 40000 a piece. They 2012 Freightliners. 26 foot, two fuel tank, um, two fuel tank tanks. Um, they both got air rod, they both got lift gates, with the big lift gate, and they both got ramps on. They both got all of the bells and whistles. Everything a box truck could possibly have, except a sleeper. Rentals. Let's see. What price are you asking for the 26? 40,000 each. Really, the highest bidder for real though, because this is this is a it's a market I might could get forty five. So basically, whoever whoever gonna give me the most for it for real, <laughs> to be honest, forty is what I'm looking to get. But if somebody offered me more because they said they want to outbe somebody else, hey, I'm not I'm going with the highest money. As much as I lost in this game, it's about time I start getting me some gains. Looking to rent. Damn, I've been on here for an hour and a half. Or it's definitely about time I. I might get off of her. Looking to rent. Do anybody have one for rent? Is that a trailer or a, or a truck? All right. Let me try to run through these questions real quick. Taking my CDL tomorrow, too. Congrats and good luck. Good luck on that. Hey, do you do special box trucks? No. Only semis. What's a good rate to rent? What's a good rate to rent trailers out for? I'm renting mine out for 500 it. Somebody told me there's way too much. Well. Hey, go find you one then. <laughs> you know, you can't tell somebody what's too much for them, you know, especially when you need what they got. So, Kimberly, definitely hit me up if, you, if you're trying to get a truck. Like I said, I got two of them. So, what... What do you book after you finish a power only load with JB Hunt being that I see only one way runs? I just I just book so I could book something off of Amazon. I could book something off any with anybody because I because I have a trailer. Cause I'm running power only, but I'm using their trailers though. Nah, I ain't doing no two for no seventy thousand. No. <laughs> I ain't cutting no deals. Cause I was looking at the market. I was like, shit, for the trucks I got, I see some of them for damn near fifty thousand. For 330,000 miles. I seen somebody had 600,000 miles and they was charging like 30,000. Prior truck sales here in Houston, they have locations all over. They would definitely finance you through at least purchase on regulants, I guess, regulants. I don't know. I never seen that word before. If you're new, they want 30% down and you're Gucci. Trucks and trailers. Do they got trailers? Chick magnet. Mr. Chick Magnet, do they got some trailers up there? Let me know. Cause that that um that that trailer, that utility trailer out of Houston told me they was they they hold my two thousand dollars deposit for me some, some trailers, man. And they didn't um they they said all of a sudden they ain't coming no more or something. So I have one for sale too. <laughs> I told you, but, hey, go ahead. Hey, look, hey, look. Annoying the annoying troll got one for sale too, though. So y'all can get this information too. I ain't hating. I'm gonna get mine off on Facebook Marketplace regardless. So if if nobody from here don't buy it, I'm it's definitely gonna be sold within record time. Good stuff, Kobe. Quick question: Can you book two loads from Amazon really and pick up the same time? If it fits, I've barely been able to do that. I don't think it's it's highly unlikely, unless you know for a fact that they saying that they got two pallets on it. So the only time I was able to do that because I had dedicated and I knew that I was there with both of the loads. And I'm like, okay, shit, it's only three pallets. Let me throw both of these on the truck. $500 a week or a month on trailers. $500 a week is what, I, is what, is what I've been charging people. Because I think Ryder was charging me like $250, but they got 1,000 trailers. I only got, I only got, um, what am I saying? I only got five. So 
You see what I'm saying? Like, so the cost, if mines go down, is going to be a lot more. So, and like I said, I don't have to rent mine. Mine could just sit for all I give a shit. 10% off each load, or am I looking at 85 in my pocket after the fee? You looking at, I'm just saying gross. Any plugs on where I can get a decent trailer? My boy, Trailer Strong on, on Instagram, he have decent trailers, but it just depends on what you think de- decent. I'm more like newer trailers, 10 years of newer. But that's just my take on it. I appreciate all the game and answering all my questions. One day we will connect once I get off the ground. Peace and love and light. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Peace, God. We in here. We, we got to liberate the people and give out the game. Like I said, don't sleep on, on that power only. Not, not at all. I'm in Houston. I'm about to go there tomorrow. Absolutely. They have trailers, vans, and reefers. Check the DM. Check your DM for the phone number. Which DM? I don't know how to even check messages on YouTube, but if you can hit me on IG at Kobe Pegway, like yeah, if y'all can hear my email, I'm a, I'm gonna try to start catching up on my um on my messages on IG. Yeah, that's cool though. Looking to rent box trucks so I can work to get a semi. Do anybody have one for rent? Nah, but I'm definitely about to shout out to everybody that that's on this live. I'm about to definitely shut it down because I got to get back to my studies. I'm reading a really, really good book I want to get back to. I'm going to read that. But yeah, let the work continue. Appreciate your love for helping our people. Also changed my diet through your recommendations of Brother Yaki. Found him through your channel. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm on a, I just took them three bitters before. And that's another reason I got to go to three bitters. Got my stomach kind of bubbling. So yeah, check out my bro, Yaki Awaken. He on Instagram. He healing celebrity, healing everybody. So um, definitely check my bro out. Um, get those three bitters, man. They, uh, you, if you need to do you a detox or something like that, definitely check my brother out. Is is yakiawaken.com as it's spelt right here. And Curtis, thank you for checking them out, man. For sure, for sure. But all right, y'all. Peace. Love to my folks. See y'all. I'm gonna try to go down Thursday, but if not, I'm definitely gonna try to get get on here at least every Tuesday or Thursday for sure. To answer, answer questions for y'all. Peace. And thank y'all for watching.